welcome to Frontier Regional Girls Soccer Senior Night. Here are the seniors from Gateway. Donna Vale. Nina Iglesias. Ava Eau Claire. Erin Harris. Hannah Cope. Charlotte Kozalski. Rachel Walzak. Brynja Miltimore. Ashley Sullivan. And Alexis Cooper. And now for the for some words from Coach Patelli. I have had the privilege to teach and coach all four of these seniors. Teaching them as sixth graders and seeing the type of student, athlete, and person they have become has been rewarding. Our first senior is Natalie Dankevitz. Walking out with Natalie is her mom, Jen, dad, Sean, and sister, Olivia. Natalie wants to attend college, but unsure about where and what she wants to study. She wishes the girls next year good luck, and she knows they will all do great. Second senior is Claudia Rajbali. Walking out with Claudia is her mom, Anna. Dad, Ram, and brother, Max. Claudia plans on attending university to study international affairs. She wants to give a big thank you to her family and friends, especially Jess, Nat, and Tori, for all the years of support during the fall season. Lots of love for the team next year. Our next senior is Victoria Speth. Walking out with Tori is her mom, Amy, and her dad, Robert. Tori has played on the varsity team for five years and has enjoyed every second of it. Next year, she plans to attend a four-year college majoring in nursing. For the future, she hopes to volunteer abroad. Yay, Natalie! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our final senior is Jessica Risley. Yes, yes. Walking out with Jess is her mom, Cheryl, dad, Eric, and her brother, Cameron. She plans to attend college in Florida to pursue a career in sports medicine. Let's hear it one more time for our seniors. And now for the starting lineup for the Gateway Gators. 
Goalkeeper, Donna Vale. Number two, Nina Iglesias. Number five, Ava Auclair. Number 17, Aaron Harris. Number three, Hannah Coffey. Number 10, Charlotte Kozelski. Number 14, Rachel Walzak. Number eight, Brynja Miltimore. Number 12, Rebecca Hayek. Number 15, Hannah Duggan. And number 20, Peyton Bucko. And now for the starting lineup for Frontier. Number nine, Natalie Dankiewicz. Number seven, Tori Speth. Number five, Claudia Rajbali. Number 14, Jess Risley. Number six, Megan Danak. Number 11, Cam oh, number 10, Cambry Hamilton. Number 17, Caitlin Mackin. Number 23, Grace O'Leary. Number 8, Isabel Maripizzi. Number 19, Anna Petrin. And goalkeeper, Cece Green. At this time, we ask that you please rise and remove your caps for the playing of our national anthem. High School Soccer on Frontier Community Access Television. The Frontier Girls take on Gateway on Senior Night 2019 here in South Deerfield. Good evening, everyone. This is Chris Collins along with Kevin Murphy, Alec Echo, and Megan Self. As we are here for what will be the final home game of the regular season for the Frontier Lady Red Hawks taking on the Gateway Gators out of Lower Hampshire County. So this will be a very interesting matchup. We look forward to bringing it to you here as we gear up for the playoffs and say goodbye to a number of seniors, which you heard on the introduction. The names of the seniors for Frontier and for Gateway. Hawks will move left to right. They're wearing the red uniforms with the very bright white numbers, and we certainly thank them for that. <laughs> Gateway moving right to left, wearing the uh, away white with the black letters. Good crowd for the game tonight. Relatively good conditions, despite being the last week in October. 
And Frontier will kick it off to start this game. Petra now at center to kick it off for the Red Hawks. Frontier comes down to 3 1 2 4, it looks like, to set, start this game off with CC Green in the Nets for the Red Hawks. what the delay is about. <laughs> also joining me at the mic tonight, Joe Thompson. Good to see you again, Joe. Good to have you back. And uh, tonight we got some girls senior night action here. Gateway and Frontier. And we are set to go now, I think. Risley to kick it off for Frontier. Sends it back, and we are underway to Speth. And Frontier will start from their own end of the field. Cross field pass, and out of bounds, that was intended for O'Leary. Throw in Gate. Gators now trying to move it. Aaron Harris after it, and a whistle. And we're going the other way. Frontier throws it in, and they'll do it again. And it's deflected away by the gateway defender, number 15, Hannah Dugan. Short little pass there. O'Leary to throw it in for Frontier. Does. Up ahead for Risley. Ball kicked away by Gateway. Another throw in. Is that four in a row? <laughs> it looks like, yeah, about four in a row, you're right. So the Hawks trying to make a little pass through, doesn't get through. And after it is Denkovich. Cross pass is blocked away by the gateway defender and sent up field. A battle for it at uh, three quarters field, pushed back up by gateway. And Frontier goes cross field, but it's going to, I think, go out of bounds. Yep. Nearly tracked down there. Nearly. Good speed there by number five for Frontier, Raj Bob. Raj Bale, I think is how you pronounce it, right? I have no idea. <laughs> throw in by Gateway. Deflected out of bounds. O'Leary will throw it in. We have a consultant, uh, Raj Bali. Raj Bali. Very good. I, believe me, I'll, I'll get these names eventually. All right. It's the first time seeing these girls, so... You have to learn a lot of names fast. Gateway's clearing pass goes out of bounds, and Frontier will throw it in. They love to get the ball out of bounds, Chris. <laughs> well, it's part of the game, Joe. But yeah, I'd like to see the game in the middle of the field a little more than you've seen early going here. Speth now takes the throw in, loses control, and Gateway clears. Now the Hawks trying to move it. Marapizzi after it. Pushed up ahead. And pass ahead to Denkowitz. Here's a cross, hit the side of the net. This is gonna be a goal kick. So first crossing bid for Frontier comes up short. Ooh, and a Slip gateway. there? <laughs> well, I don't Jeez. know if maybe the field's a little bit wet. There was no foul called on that, so. It's a bit of a mist in the air. A little bit. Dancing. Yeah. Murphy's getting rained on up there. <laughs> He's not really sure, he'll be able to. Yeah. And clearing pass up ahead by Frontier. And Denkowitz left puts it down the left wing. And Looking for a cross here. And there's a top of the penalty spot. Frontier trying to move the ball through. This is Risley again. And shot blocked. 
Lindsay left flips it, and it goes wide. So a couple of good bids there for Frontier. Looked like a good ball through, but then uh, Frontier couldn't take it in. So the Gators have been hemmed in the end of the field a little bit here to start this game. Good goal kick, reverse header. Ends up on the foot of Maripizzi. Actually, that was Dane. Yeah, I believe so. Yep. Petrin clears it up ahead. Going to go up to the striker. And it's sent back the other way by the Gators. Very nice kick. Cross field pass to Katie LaFord. Kyle LaFord, excuse me. She sends it ahead. There's a shot on goal. Pulled down wow. by CC Green. That was, that was way Unexpected. off. Unexpected. Yeah, I didn't, didn't see that coming. Green handled it, and she'll boot it away. 35 minutes to go here in the first half of Senior Night at Frontier. Ooh. We got a foul now on the Gators. Come on, Claudia! Yeah. Bug life there <laughs> by Dugan. Free kick controlled by the Gators. On the far side of the field, and they send it back up. Ford after it, sends it up ahead to Risley. Risley trying to move and tackled nicely by the gateway defender. Out of bounds, it'll be a frontier throw. Throw in to Rajbali. Square pass to O'Leary broken up by gateway and they send it downfield but way ahead of everybody and Green is able to pick it up. CC we're in the number 99. Throws it out to a defender. Yeah, very impressive. Starting uh, goalie is a freshman. <laughs> I was going to say, I, yeah, I noticed that on the roster that you got a freshman Ooh. on the net. A lot of contact. A lot there. of contact there. No call. Oh, and at the Rose plays a through ball. Nicely done, but he could not control it. And it goes out of bounds. So it'll be a goal kick, but that was a dangerous moment there, Joe. Yeah. Seems like Gateway has a, a lot of firepower. There are a lot of seniors on this team, too. They, they, they introduced like seven or eight seniors in the pregame ceremony. It's like there's 10 on the team and eight are starting. Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> it's a senior laden group for sure. Absolutely. It's going to be a corner kick, so I guess, I guess it was off the frontier defenders, so the first corner of the game. Good cross. A little overdone there. A little over the. You'd have to be real tall to get that head <laughs> on that one. Jumping, yeah. Exactly. Nice. It's out of bounds. Goal kick frontier. No score early going here in the first half. Kicked over the sideline. And pass broken up by Gateway. This is Dugan again. She's tackled off the ball. And lead pass up ahead. And good tackle again by the defenders. Ooh, nice cross. Speth now left foots it up the field. Battle for it. Dinkowitz now with a lead pass, a little too far ahead. Out of bounds, goal kick for Gateway. Really? Oh, okay. Looks like at the end there, the Gateway player tapped it out of bounds. Yeah, I think, I think it looked almost like, but it didn't, obviously, because they would have in a corner kick, but reverse header. Good play there. Settled by Frontier. And Rajbali with it. Rajbali. Up ahead to Arpizi. Centering pass broken up. And it's pushed up ahead by the halfback for Gateway out of bounds. It'll be a gateway throw in. Good one timer ahead of everybody. And Green was able to bear down on that, but she had a, a striker for Gateway closing in. Boots it downfield to Denkowitz. Denkowitz, nice trap. Through ball. Pushed back the other way by Gateway. Looking to get it up to Harris. 
Harris is the right wing for Gateway out of bounds. It's going to be a frontier throw. Or is it? No, Gateway. Well, not frontier player. My mistake. Throw it down the corner. Too far ahead, though. It's going to be a goal kick. The other way. And Green will send it downfield. Ends up on the, yep, on the foot of Raj Bali, who turns it around, sends it up. Nice play at the midfield to send it ahead. Looking to send Risley, but was repelled back the other way by Gateway. And a whistle. We're going to get over the back there on the Gateway striker. Well, that's the thing in soccer, too. <laughs> Apparently it that. is. Learn something new every day. Oh my God, 17, that's Caitlin Mackin to kick it away for the Hawks. This trap broken up by Gateway for a second, though. And it's sent back down. Nice little volley by Harris. Kind of sent it in the middle. Almost a dangerous play there, but they don't call it. Pushed into open space, out of bounds though. Frontier will throw it in. Was unable to get to it was Dugan. Uh, here come the Hawks. Nice. Valley up ahead to Denkowitz. Denkowitz. Cross. Oh, Risley was right there, but a little too far ahead. But that was a great cross by Denkowitz. It was. Goes out of bounds. It'll be a goal kick for the Gators. Great crowd here for the senior night. You know, I'm starting to gain a lot of respect for the soccer fans at Frontier. It's, been a, it's rarely been a bad crowd here that I've been here. Ooh, nice play by Denkowitz again. Quick flick ahead. And the goalkeeper, the deal, came out and got it. Well done. Frontier threatening now here in the first half. Battle um, of the 17s. <laughs> It's Harris up there, but getting to it first was Mackin. And they try to head it up to the halfback. Look up ahead, looking for Denkowitz. Left footed back down the field. And Cece's going to come out and get that one, and she does. Green to punt it away. Oof. Uh, tight you from experience, that hurts. <laughs> Eva Claire with the big header to send it back into frontier territory. Walzak now. Crosses in the middle. And here come the Hawks. This is Speth. And Speth's pass intercepted. Nicely done by the center half. And this is Dugan trying to push it up ahead. Broken up and sent back the other way. That's going to be a handball. Gonna argue it, but there's nothing to argue. That was clearly a handball. And this is gonna be Seems Grace like a Frontier dispute. Oh, they're gonna let Denkowitz take it. Denkowitz just pushes it up ahead to Speth. Speth. Back in the middle to Rajbali. Rajbali to Denkowitz. Denkowitz, nice move, but well broken up. Nice tackle by the defender of Gateway. Throw it for Gateway. We get a couple of subs coming in for Frontier, it looks like, pretty soon. Are you happy with this angle? Good throw. Larry comes up and knocks it ahead. Speth. Over to Rajbali. Rajbali. Broken up nicely by the center half of Gateway. Now looking for a through ball, trying to send Harris. And Eau Claire. Crossing pass. Bucko trying to make a move down the right sideline. Still with it. Broken up nicely, though, by Speth. The sideline now. No one's seen this Dinkowitz now with it. Dinkowitz trying to make a move. 
Still with it. Pushes it back. Dinko, it's a good ball play. Great oh, ball yeah. movement. Sigma. Back in the oh, oh, gateway. Oh, Looks like it's going to be a foot race to the ball here. It's Dugan after it. And oh. it's going to get pushed up ahead out of bounds and a goal kick for Frontier. Michaela oh. Santos coming in for Frontier to replace Jessica Risley. Had some good minutes out there. Yep. We got some, some Scanlon and uh, also waiting to come in Sierra Warren. Yeah, this is Raj Bali again. Pushing it up ahead. Up to Michaela Santos, who's now in as a center half, it looks like. Santos now with it. Santos in the penalty area. And it's deflected off of Santos, and it'll be a cold kick. Okay. Gateway. And here are the subs. Come in from Mayor PC. Ball pushed up ahead is Gateway on the attack. Shot saved, diving saved by Green. Green booted away ahead to Dinkowitz. Dinkowitz sending it up ahead. And it's sent back the other way by Gateway, but only temporarily. Shot just wide of the net. And that was Dinkowitz again. Will be a goal or a corner? It should be, I would think, a corner. They called timeout. Timeout on the field will take the break. 23 57 to go in the first half. No score on the scoreboard. It's senior night. Let's hear a girl's soccer. Let's hear the city access time. It's College Joe Thompson here at Frontier Regional School. Timeout called by Gateway. It's going to be a corner kick, and I'm pretty sure the Gateway coach. Wanted to make sure his team understood how dangerously they've been living in the last <laughs> couple of minutes. This frontier is one or two passes away from popping one in here. Yeah, it's completion on the cross. Don't let her in, Hannah! Here we go, Thank you, let's take it. And the Hawks are in motion. Good cross. Battle for it in the middle, out of bounds. Might be another corner, I think. Looks that way. Kayla Santos is close to it. Santos has had some jump on her steps since coming off the bench for her first minutes. Frontier lining up outside the penalty circle. Now they're going to all crash. Ooh. Quick header again, out of bounds, and that should be a goal kick. I think it went off of a Frontier player. Yeah, looks that way. A couple of good opportunities there, but could not quite convert it into a score. But Frontier is definitely threatening. I think Joe Frontier has to worry about defensively, though, are those quick through passes. Because oh, yeah. they definitely quick, get some speed on that front line. Quick strikers. Really. Battle for it on the far side. Speth after it. Good break up there. Cross court. Field pass to Scanlon. Scanlon tries to drop it back to O'Leary. O'Leary back up to Scanlon. Couldn't quite control it though. Throw in for Gateway. This is Hannah Dugan. Scanlon, good play to knock it loose. Good job and Raj Bali is after it. Now Michaela pushes it up ahead, looking to set up Hamilton. Good handle. Nice move by Rush Pauly. Very nice. Very, very good ball handling. Up ahead to Scanlon. Scanlon tries to push it through. Blocked. Still battling for it. 
And it goes to the far sideline and booted away by the Gators. 21 49 to go in the first half. No score quite yet. O'Leary now, a square pass. And O'Leary is going to send it ahead. Bedankowitz, nice break up there. Now after it's Ava O'Claire. O'Claire uh -oh. sending it through to Harris, one on one. Uh -oh. Cece comes out for it, makes the save, and it's clear to the sideline. Good save by Green. That was the best bit of the night for either team. Aaron Harris bearing down on CC Green. Great, Chris. There's the through balls you're talking about. Yep. I mean, I think Green, you know, Harris certainly has the speed, and Green, great job to come out and block that. Good job by O'Leary to clear it out of bounds. Up ahead, Dinkins. Natalie. Head pass up the right wing board, right wing side to Michaela. Michaela trying to work on the defender. Michaela bearing in. Picks it out. Shot goes over the net by Scanlon. Nearly a field goal. Nearly a field goal, exactly. But good job by Michaela to get that ball to Scanlon. And Sam Scanlon just kicked it over the net. Dinkowitz is going to get a little breather. That's Cole and Laffer coming in. Kick up ahead to. Ooh, that was a handball. That was a handball, no call. Michaela pushes it ahead. Broken up, left foot up the field. Step down. Speth, left handed, left footed shot wide. So Frontier chipping away. So far, the gateway defense has held. Goal kick. Rolls back up to the full back line. Pushed back up ahead by Frontier. Bounds. And that's going to be a gateway throw. Go gateway! Ooh, very close to a dangerous play there by so Harris. This is Hijack pushing it ahead. Looking for Bucko. <laughs> Bucko hit the ref with that. That's unusual. That's not cool. Get out of the way, man. They're going to go for throwing. Hey, let's go. Quick turnaround shot from the corner goes out of bounds. It's going to be a goal kick. I'll tell you, these gateway kids aren't afraid to shoot it from way out. No, a couple not. of shots tonight that have been from far, far outside the penalty area. Out of bounds. And I thought that was a frontier throw in, but they're going to say it's a gateway throw. Must have gone off a frontier player. And battle for it on the far sideline. And out of bounds. That's going to be gateway ball. Throw in. And that's going to be lead pass goes out of bounds. So the Hawks will kick it away. So far the best bit of the game so far coming from Aaron Harris on that cross, on that through ball that Green came out and made the save on. But Frontiers had the better opportunities numbers wise, but that was the best score in the game. And they send it back down the right wing out of bounds and it's gonna be a Frontier throw. Mackin will throw it in. Ketter in the middle to Rajbali. Up ahead, looking for the forward. And Rajbali again. Back in the middle, scanning. That's out of bounds. Looking to set up O'Leary, who had switched up and was hit down the right wing. O'Leary pushes the right pullback. Ketter, out of bounds. For it. Scanlon puts it back in the middle of the field and it's sent back that field by Kingsley. Okay. Hey, talk. 
Speth now. Speth, square ball. Up to Scanlon. Scanlon sends it back in the middle looking for Santos. And sent to the sideline by Gate. The Gators will throw. Clear there by O'Leary. Yep. Preemptive strike at the gateway breakaway. Yeah, O'Leary's a solid, solid back. He got some good ball players on this front here. This is our first time seeing them. My first time seeing them, but I'm impressed so far. Good athletes. Oh wow, that stayed in balance. It did. That was very impressive. Only temporarily though, and Gateway will throw it. Now a whistle. And a sub coming in. This is Walzak coming in for the Gators. She'll go to the left wing. And coming out is Dugan for Gateway. Throw in Frontier. We're gonna send it ahead. This is LaFord. LaFord will come. Now Rajbali with it, Rajbali. Good cross. Uh, Santos was bearing down, but just a little bit ahead. Yeah, that was a great pass by Rajbali. That's a great play. Sarah Warren now on the clearing pass, out of bounds. Warren will throw it in. Clear. Cross field clear to LaFord. Out of bounds. Gateway throw. Good kick by O'Leary. O'Leary sends it back. Hit her in the middle. Santos after it. Ooh, cross. Very nice handling being displayed. And that one just gets sent back the other way by the defender. Not for long. Now they send it downfield. And looking to make a run is Willis. Or Harris, rather, excuse me. Harris down the right sideline, one person to beat. Out of bounds, and it's gonna be a throw in. Good job to direct that to the sideline. My thoughts exactly. And not to give up a corner kick on that situation. Right. Scanlon, oh! Good job by the, the, the striker to get in there. As Scanlon was going after, but wasn't quite running as hard after it as I think anybody thought. And they got a shot off. Out of bounds, go kick for the And Green will send it away. Square pass. Walzak breaks it up, sends it across field to Bucko, out of bounds, Frontier, throw it in. Scanlon, trying to push it up ahead, broken up nicely. Nice left foot up the field, flick header by the defender of Gateway. Nice trap there. Now Risley tries to send it down the left sideline and it's going to get sent out of bounds. Seems like once uh, the red zone offense, if you will, of both teams is very respected by the other team's defense. Absolutely, and they're and they're playing. They they definitely know what's coming. But Frontier has had more crossing opportunities, whereas Gateways trying to work that through ball and trying to use their legs to their advantage. Case in point, they push it up ahead and get it away from Harris. Aaron Harris has that great explosive speed that they're trying to get the ball to her almost exclusively in the line of the field. Speth now with it. Speth, left puts it up ahead to Risley. Risley battling for it. 
She's got some help over there. Uh, Risley staying with it. Very physical over there. And that's out of bounds. That's going to be frontier throw. Sierra Warren to send a bunch of folks coming back in. Dankowitz is coming back in. Looks like the starters are returning. Yeah, Hamilton's back in. Keeping. Yeah, the starting lineup yep. returning. Oh, the subs did a pretty good job. They did. Throw in for Frontier. Cross blocked and cleared. Way upfield. It's going to be a throw in for Frontier. 11 minutes left in, pier in half number one. I never could get behind hitting soccer balls when I play. I can tell you that, yeah, it's, depending on the situation, it can be supposed to not hurt, right? And, and I never I never understood that. My coach like, it doesn't hurt when you hit the ball. Yeah, okay. You do. Because you've sustained enough brain damage. Right? right, well, that's the thing. You take, take a goal kick from half oh, field. Yeah. Another header there by Speth. <laughs> And clearing up ahead, looking for Dinkowitz. Dinkowitz after it now. Dinkowitz. One on two. A lot of, a lot of pushing there, but no call. Now back out to Rajbali. Oh, shot wow. save. That may have been the best attempt. Well, Rajbali put that right on net, but Beal was able to snag it. That was a great bid. Fires volley. So, yeah, out of bounds. Out of bounds. It's going to be a really good throw in. Really up ahead to Denkowitz. Denkowitz in the middle to Narpeezy. Sent back to Mackin. That puts it up the field. Overrun by the gateway defender. Yeah, think of that right now, I see. <laughs> oh, wow. A little bit of a duel going a on there. Pushing. Oh, yeah, well, you're going to have some of that for sure. Up, <laughs> out there, That's way up from where the ball went out of bounds, so Frontier got away with one there. And they're going to send it back to the sweeper. That's Mackin over to O'Leary, sends it back in the middle. Larry's not afraid to go in there hard against Walzak. Walzak throws it in. Oh, there's Bali on the ground. You throw it to Frontier. O'Leary throws it in. To Speth. Speth after it. Pass. Beth to Dinkowitz. Oh, nearly. Up ahead to Harris. Harris. Into open space. Oh, that's a handball. Yeah. Yeah, good anticipation by O'Leary to come up and make that tackle. Handball is going to be called against Gateway. Mackin can get under this. This could be an off a potential through ball. If I head to Dinkowitz. And sent back the other way back. Let's move it out. O'Leary into Speth. Speth. Cross field to Mackin. Mackin left puts it up ahead. Good kick. And it's set way back down. I thought they were going to get another upfield throw in there, Chris. Yeah, well, it's a couple of times they've thrown in way ahead of where the ball went out of bounds, and they've gotten away with it. Cross field pass. And after it is Harris. Harris. Shot blocked. She's not afraid to let it go from way outside. She's not. She's proven that many times. That was a handball. Yeah. 
That was just a bad carom ended up getting Hamilton in the hand. And a coffee. It's a slimmed up field for Gateway. Good ball. And too far ahead. CeCe Green comes out and gets it as Harris is bearing down. Kingsley after it. Open up though. Nice pass. Get through. Uh, lost through ball. Sent back the other way. Uh, playing a little bit of volleyball here. One volley for another. Beth made some nice moves here in this first half. Up ahead. Good passing by Frontier. And a good tackle by the Gateway Defender. 5.45 to go in the first half. No score. Some good action, though. Speth now. Goes to O'Leary. O'Leary. Up ahead to Denkowitz. Denkowitz. Cross blocks. No call. Speth. Can you get up to Risley? Now Risley after it. And clear by the gateway defender. Eric Smith trying to work on the rhythm. Trying to push it ahead. Open up. Speth. And pass down the right wing. Oh, run over on the way to the ball. I don't think you can do that, Jess. It's going to be a free kick for gateway. Sometimes you just got to push your opponents <laughs> out of bounds. Sometimes you just got to run them over like a freight train. Yeah. These things the happen. Game. And the kick goes out of bounds. And a little bit of time being kept on the field for the final five minutes and a half. Steph. Not the last volley. Get through ball. Not quite though. And we're held back the other way by Kate. Mackin's flirting pass is broken up. So back to Mackin. Battle for on the far side. The bounds. It's going to be a throw for Gateway. Quick sub. Back into the game is Dugan for Gateway. Shot on the top of the circle. Gobbled up by Green. Green's going to throw it upfield. Good throw. Head to Dinkowitz. Nice volley. Open up. Nice defense there by Iglesias. And push back the other way. It's going to be a throw in for Frontier. Grace O'Leary. Game to Dinkowitz. Dinkowitz. Nice move. Working up though in the middle. And now Kingsley. And it's going to be foul on the frontier, it looks like. I'm not familiar with the hand signals. It might have been a kick her in the shin, maybe? Maybe. Opportunity here for Gateway. They're going to bring it back though to half field. And it will be Coffee to send it downfield. job by Mackin to come up and kick it away one time. I'm always impressed when someone can volley, uh -huh. volley like that on the fly. And it's going to be a throw in for Gateway. Wow. That was cool. It's a nice little bicycle. Oh. <laughs> no <laughs> call. Wow. You do that Friday night and you, and you get, a, get a penalty into a football game. Oh yeah. Oh again. Wow. A lot Frontier's of physical, getting aggressive. physical play picking up. Rajbali gets de deposed the ball quickly by 
Iglesias, so a lot of physical play here. To, it's going to be, I think, an illegal throw. Yeah. And they've been getting away with that a lot tonight. Some throws that have been somewhat questionable in terms of technique. Mackin sends it field. That's that a handball. Thank you, it's now. Trying to keep fast pace. Spef. Shot goes uh. wide. Oh, is it a corner kick? I don't know. I thought that it, well, they were going to say it was deflected. Apparently it was. I didn't think it was. Corner. Oh! oh. Headed away. Ball still loose. Volley. It's in the score. goal. Jessica Risley with a volley off of a reverse header. And it's 1-0 Frontier. Nice goal there. Yeah. Jessica Risley with the goal late in the first half. Not sure the exact time because the time's being kept on the field. I'm pretty sure there's, I'm going to say it was in the 38th minute at least. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, definitely. 1 0, Frontier. I did not see the assist. I, I thought it came. I thought it was a header off of. I think it was Marapisi. Might have been. Eight. I think so. Marapisi, yeah, number eight. We cannot check the tape, unfortunately. <laughs> well, Murphy has the B-roll, but doesn't do us any good. And a goal for Frontier, second. scored by number 14, Jess Risley. <laughs> Dankowitz, that puts it downfield. Lead pass, broken up. Nicely done by Mackin again. Throw in for Gateway, now we'll end the first half. So Frontier draws first blood on the late goal by Risley at the end of one half of play. Red Hawks won, Gateway nothing. Second half action upcoming. This is Red Hawk, Bill Soccer on such a system. Second half action upcoming. Frontier against Gateway. Frontier Red Hawks. They won nothing on a late first half goal by Risley, Jessica Risley, on a nice cross. We did not get who assisted on that goal. We're pretty sure it was Mayor PC, but we're not positive. But Frontier starts off the half with a 1 0 lead and they'll be moving right to left on this second half. <laughs> for us. And with the play-by-play -play for the second half, Joe Thompson. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. So it looks like the players are setting up right now, getting ready for the opening kick. Looks like the starting lineups are out there for both teams. And Gateway will kick it away because the Frontier kicked it. Hey, let's go, Red! Here's Hamilton with the stop. Back to the feet of Gateway. Ooh! Let's look out there. Out. That was Bucko that went flying there. Control by the out of bounds. And here's another throw by Petrin. There, PC Gateway boots it downfield. Mackin. And uh, kicked out of bounds. Oh, Warren did a good job to even get to that ball. Looks like um, Peyton Bucko will throw in. Shot Ooh. just above. <laughs> it hit the it hit the uh, upright there. Right, and then it, the that was kind of scary looking, but no goal, goal kick. Green to take. Upfield into the feet of Gateway. Cross. 
And here's Petrin deflected. And Green's going to come out and pick up the ball. Good job by CeCe. Nice punt there. Gateway with the backwards hit, kick rather. And it will be frontier throw in, it appears. So there's an opportunity here for the right situation. On their half the field, good for them to be very good at getting to the goal. Um, here's Rose Bali, and not quite through to Frontier as Gateway takes it back to their half the field. And the speed of the striker showing here for Gateway. And Green tracks it down. O'Leary was there, but good job by Green to come out and get that ball. Yes. Oh, tough break. Dinkowitz thought she had it. Good use of space by Frontier there in that ball. Nice kick over the head there. I forget which one that is. It's a bicycle kick. Ah, okay. Thank you. And it broke it up. Into the ball. Grizzly. And it's going to be out on the gateway, I do believe. Yeah, that's a corner kick. But Rajbal did a great job to get that ball outside to Risley and make that bid. And so this is a real opportunity for Frontier here to go up too. Absolutely. And looks like Speth will take the kick. Speth with that lefty boot. It's good if she can make this, get this in the air with that natural curl. It's gonna be a goal kick for Gateway. Hannah Coffee. Broke it up. Back forward to Hamilton with a nice cross. Great move. Hamilton inside the box. And Grizzly can't quite get there. But tracks down just before it goes out of bounds. Well, I don't think I don't think Risley expected that ball. That was a great move by Hamilton to yes. beat two defenders and get that ball in the middle. Risley started Rizzi, a little Rizzi, exactly. Yeah. Big kick there into the feet of Frontier. And here's the shot. Good job by Dinkler to switch that left foot. Back to Risley. Ooh, a lot of contact. Cross. Not quite there. And taken away. It was a nice tackle, but I'm impressed with the passing of Frontier in the second half. They're moving the ball very, very well. And they're using open space really, really well. Better than they did in the first half. Here it is, in down to Red Bali. Kicks back, and Gateway takes control. And it's going to be stolen right back by Frontier. Throw in Frontier. Here's Mary Pisi with the nope, gateway ball. Throw in for gateway. Oh, it's 
There. Ahead. Hit, the, hit her own player with that clearing pass. Wow. Big kick there by Gateway. It's going to go out of bounds. And Frontier takes it. O'Leary again to throw. He gets it into Grizzly. Nice semi bicycle kick there. Another throw in for Frontier. Bucko in the race to the ball. Yeah, tough break. She kind of overran it. Pippen did. Yes. Back in with the back up there. Leary takes it upfield. And almost this entire half's been played in the gateway end of the field. Bit of a push there by O'Leary. Bit of a push. <laughs> yeah, I would say. I would say so. Um, and here's Gateway with the kick. And Green is going to collect. Gateway takes control. A lot of bumping. And up the field. And Kevin's striking it down. And Mackin is going to go. Good settle there. Gateway making their way up the field. A little chip there. Seems like Green's going to try to come out and grab it, and she does. She had that gateway striker bearing down on her. It seems like they always are. It always seems to be the same person, Harris. <laughs> yes, that's true. Uh, gateway throw it. By Rebecca Hijack, I believe. <laughs> it's going to be a throw. And a whistle blown, it will be Frontier Soccer Ball. Again, Frontier marching up the sideline for inbounds. And Gateway takes it back. Good upfield kick there by Speth. Kevitz collects, Jim Kevitz collects. Ah, can't quite get it through. Here's the upfield pass by Gateway to Aaron Harris. And Harris is gonna go to work. Broken up there by Megan Danak. Bucko with the cross and Green Ooh. intercepts. Good job by Green to come out and get that one. That was close. That was a little too close for comfort. <laughs> and it returned to Gateway possession. Here's the throw in. Oh, Petrin keeps it in bounds. Here comes Gateway. Ooh, spin move almost there by number 12, Rebecca Hydrick. Here's the throw in. Hydrick with the handle. Speth with the kick out of bounds. So after the first part of this half being spent mostly in the gateway's end of the field, the Gators have started to come on a little bit here. 
a couple of good bids, and they're starting to push things a little bit. Absolutely. They have to. They're down by one with 28 minutes to go in the match. And it will be Frontier goal kick. Some subs coming in for Frontier. We've got Michaela Santos back in, also Sierra Warren. Coming in for uh, Campbell Hamilton and Anna Petrie. Wow, headed right back. Yes. And here's Green. Big kick there to Santos. A lot of contact Good over move. there. Dankiewicz with the uh, opportunity. Slips and falls. Ooh, no call. Very unfortunate. She slams her hand on the ground. She's upset, but That's lot, frustrating. There's a lot of contact there. She was right on the doorstep. Yes, I also believe the grass would be very slippery tonight. So. Yeah. Can't call a foul on the grass. Right. Comes Harris. Dana gets it to Warren. Warren to Mary PC and Gateway takes it back. Kicked out of bounds by Dana. Another pretty good job Frontier has not letting Harris get behind them. That's the danger with this Gateway team. Pretty obvious what the what the offensive idea here is is to try and score the through ball through and let Harris's legs do the rest. And again, kicked out of bounds. This could go on for a while if they really wanted it to. And here's the throw in. That seems to be. Might be a corner, I think. I think it went no, out the I think, player. Oh, yes. I spoke out heading to the corner. That did look like it went out the frontier defender. Deflected. Oof. Ooh, good interception there by Green. Jumping above oh, other players. Grabs that and throws it ahead to Risley. Mayor PC with the header. Track down by Sierra Warren. Here comes Mackin up the sideline. Gets it to Risley. And it will be. Seems like it should be Frontier. It should be. But will it be? Does it appear to be? It looked like it went off no. the gateway player. Almost certainly. Unless there is something. Well, that's, a, that's a couple of times they've missed that, that call tonight. Well, yeah, they also missed a couple of shoves by Frontier, so. And here, clear for Gateway. We'll go out of bounds. Gateway backliner is doing a good job staying with the front line of Frontier, denying them the opportunity for those little through balls. All you got to do is get one through, though, and Dankowitz will be there and we to knock it home. Out of oh. bounds. Uh, Buckham seeming a lack of body control there. So check out of bounds. Here's the throw in. Trapped. Kicks, but looks like that deflected off Santos. And went off the side of her foot, I think. Oh, wow. It's going to be frontier ball. Okay. Um, kicked ahead. Warren. Aaron Harris. Oh, nice handle. And kicks Dugan. Ooh. Right through the uprights, I believe. Yeah, I think Dugan could have 
That was taking a powerful one, shot. Could have taken one more step, I think. Oh, excuse me, Rebecca Hijack, not not doing it. Yeah, I think that she she got the ball clean, and I think if she could have taken one more step, she might have had a better opportunity than she ended up with. I think so. Maybe could have controlled that power a little more. Here it is to Warren. Warren gets it up to Mary PC. Contact, contact, contact. Um, Raj Bali at the handle. Yeah, Raj Bali is a great ball player. By far the best player on the pitch right now, I think, skill wise. About 22 minutes left to play here in the second half. Good cross to the middle there by Speth. Rizzi will track it down. I like the way Frontier is using the entire field in this half, a little more than they did in the first. That's true. Also, Gateway. Green. Uh oh! oh geez. Wow, that, what a play by Dana. Dana did a good job, but they've been living dangerously all night with that. And that time it almost worked for it's them. It's the second time that's happened. And Green will pick it up. <laughs> a lot of contact. And here's Beth in midfield. Here's a shot. And picked up. Shot from about 25 yards out. There's the ball going to the corner of the box, and uh oh, we got no goalie. Let's kick it out of bounds. <laughs> oh no, very dangerous. Over. Wow, Frontier's lucky. I'm surprised they didn't just kick it out of bounds, even if it does give up a corner. Leary makes the play. Here's Rose Dolly with the ball. And that will go out of bounds. Goal kick. Some more subs coming back in for Frontier. Hamilton back in and Scanlon back in. And a timeout. We'll take the break. About 20 minutes or so to go. And the second half. Chris Collins, Joe Thompson, Alec Gecko, Megan Self, and Kevin Murphy, the executive producer of Frontier Regional Sports, Frontier Red Hawks. Lead the Gateway Gators by a score of 1-0 on senior night here in South Deerfield. It'll be a goal kick for Frontier, Joe. Yes, it will. Green to take that goal kick as we get the second half of the second half started here. There's Green with the kick, headed back by Gateway, and Green's gonna pick it up. Grizzly trying to break loose. No such luck. Kicked back to O'Leary who fields the ball. Scanlon's gonna try to get out ahead and it's deflected off Rizzi's feet. There's Harris, the kick. And Mackin with the disruption. Good kick there by O'Leary. Scanlon kicks it off the face. The gateway player. Called. It's 
seat. And needs to kick ahead. And it goes right through the defense for Green to pick up. Very nice punt there by Green. And taken by Hydrick. And frontier ball. O'Leary with the throw. Oh, broken up by Bucko. And whistle. It'll be frontier possession. Not entirely sure what the whistle is for. And here's Mackin. At the kick. And kicked out of bounds, deflected out of bounds off of number 10, Charlotte Zalski. O'Leary gets it to the middle for Scanlon and taken away by Gateway. Mackin, the handle. Gets it upfield to Denkevitz. And out of bounds. Frontier still trying to make it, make a couple of runs here, try and get an insurance goal. Yes. Wow, there is so much contact between this. Two. <laughs> Seems like that's pretty consistent throughout the game. Yeah, it, well, it's definitely picked up. It seems that those two have been pretty aggressive consistently. And here is Warren up ahead to Risley. Risley up to Santos and kicked through Santos' legs to Gateway. It's not breakers. I don't think Santos knew where the ball was. Uh, here's Speth. Here's Kevitz. And Kevitz. That's a good shot. Good lefty shot by Dan Kevitz. Gateway. Rebecca Hydrick with the kick up field. Harris trying to catch, uh, track it down. Danak. Looks like that should be a goal kick. Substitution. Elena Mays Poland comes in for Jessica Risley. It's Mays Poland's first appearance, I think, in this no, game. No, second, second. Oh, second. Yeah, okay. she came in for second. All right, I didn't see her. And here is Green. Headed by Harris. I don't like a handball. I can't tell. Um, uh oh. Oh no. Okay. Take it back by Megan Danak, and it'll be fielded by Hannah Dugan, or thrown in rather by Hannah Dugan. Here's Kingsley. Speth takes the ball. This is upfield. Santos can't quite trap the ball. And the through ball to Harris. It could be dangerous. And Green with a diving save. Good job by Green to cut the angle off. That was a good bid by Harris. Yes, it was. Good job by uh, Frontier Defense there on the recovery. Although they let the through ball through, they, uh, they still got in the way of that kick. And Mace Poland, ooh. Tripped up. Well, that time they made a call. Oh, they did? Okay. Frontier fans were not going to let that go unnoticed. No. I don't think the fans have any impact whatsoever on the referees. If anything, they make the referees more hesitant to make calls. Um, and that might Hard. You can do that. Don't look at me a direct kick, I think, here for Frontier. This could be uh, their uh, security goal, insurance goal, opportunity that uh, they're looking for. They're going to talk it over. I'm not sure if it's direct or indirect. If it's indirect, someone has to touch it before they can shoot it on goal. Looks like they're putting a wall up, though. A jumping wall. Okay. <laughs> Could do that. Oh, oh my goodness! Who 
got that? That was incredible. It was headed in. I'm pretty sure that might have been Santos. Beautiful cross, headed in. We'll get the official score. But I Frontier really got that. That's exactly it what they were looking for. It might have been Mace Poland. might have been Mace Poland. Let's find out. It's 2-0. Any one of three, any one of three frontier been players. Mace Poland, maybe. Maybe Santos. All right. No one really knows. So we'll just say good goal by Frontier. Two nothing Frontier. We're gonna find out momentarily who scored that goal, but it was a great cross, great feed, nicely done, and it's two yes. zip. So this is, now Gateway's gonna have to get desperate here a little bit, I think. Good sliding deflection by Kevitz and Bucko mishandles. I think that ball's getting a little slippery out there, Jim. Looks like. Perhaps. A couple of times that Bucko's had the ball go off the side of his foot. And then hit the other one. Um, and here's Santos with the handle, gets it up to Kevitz. Dan Kevitz has been one on three pretty much all night here. Oh, yeah. That seems Every like, time she uh, touches the ball, she's got two or three white shirts around her. Gateway scouting report seems to. Good play. We had a frontier goal scored by Caitlin Mackin off all of the right. Good goal there by Caitlin Mackin. Excellent job. So oh. goals by Risley and Mack, and the difference in this one is Frontier leads 2-0. Yeah. So and here's Mack in to take the kick. Looks like a foul by uh, Gateway. Ahead. Kevitz, not quite. Oh! And Hamilton. Mack in with the handle. Okay. And more subs coming in for Frontier. Four new faces coming in. And out of bounds, kicked by Gainak. Bucko with the inbound. And here's O'Leary, subbed in for by Petra. Marapizi, rush volley. Subbing into the game, and I believe Tyler LaFord comes in as well. And Sierra Warren is out. PC with the kick. Here's Aaron Harris trying to fight the ball. Back and good. Green. Superlative save. Again, she had that striker bearing down on her. Green's done a great job tonight. She really has. Um, and here it is up ahead. And it is. Frontier throw and Mayor Peace will take. And again, Mayor Peace will take the throw in for Frontier. Good kick by Mackin up ahead. And here's Hamilton, tries to get it up to Mays Poland. And out of bounds off the gateway, I believe that'll be a corner kick. Nice little give and go there between uh, Hamilton and Santos. And you're right, it's going to be a corner. And it's going to be Speth, to Speth take. with that lefty kick. Frontier looking, second looking, for the, looking for the knockout punch here. Knockout punch. Okay, that's what you call the third one. Oh, that was right there. Still alive. Another corner. And looks like Mackin will take it. And a little overkick 
there by Mackin. And it will be a gateway throw in. Timeout call. We'll take the break. Right here, 940 in the game, leading to nothing on the gateway. Right off Joe Sucker. So the Gators call time with 8.40 to go in the game. 2-0 Frontier. And uh, the Hawks, I believe, have another corner. No, it's a gateway throw, I think. Gateway throw, okay. It's okay, Chris. <laughs> You're right, it is a gateway throw. I thought it was a corner. Okay, here we go. That's the throw. And Mayor PC will pick it up from Frontier. And he's pulling with the Good cross on side. And the slip there by the gateway defender. And the ball definitely is getting slick out there. As well as the field. Um, here's Beth. Mary PC. Frontier would be happy to keep the ball hemmed into this end of the field for the rest of this game if they could. Oh, yes. That would be ideal, I suppose. Well, I, ideal they, they'd score again. But we'll see what happens. Um, and gateway throw. Good deflection there by Mayor PC. Spath. Ball, on Bali, um, to Mace Poland, trying to get it upfield. Petrin, Trying to get it to Risley there. And Harris attempts to keep it in bounds unsuccessfully. And Harris is having to come all the way back to the defensive end of the field. Strikers usually want to end up on the front line looking for that pass, but she has to come all the way back to help out. because Ooh, Kingsley misses the ball there, and Danak takes it back. Right. Upfield, hits the back of Danak. Unconscious good play. There it goes. That's two times in a row. It's at the back of someone else. And Bali with the handle, take away. And up the sideline, through the legs almost. Of number eight, Brinja Miltimore. And slippery, slippery field, Chris. I'm seeing it very commonly. People are falling down. Yeah, and the ball is, I think in this situation, I think Frontier has the advantage because they play more of a short passing game, whereas you know, Gateway is a little bit more kick and run, and it's just not working for them right now. Right. And who practices in the rain more? It's really what it comes down oh, that's to. That's true, too. And here comes Gateway trying to put together a last ditch campaign. They're going to attempt a shot, and that's going to go out of bounds for the Frontier goal kick. They have not had nearly as many opportunities as they had in the first half, but Frontier, I think, has carried the play better in the second half. The ball has been in Gateway's end of the field more than it's been anywhere else. I would agree with that. Here's Green. Uh, Bucko with the interception. Nice little chip shot, good header. Hamilton to Speth. Beth with a nice through ball to Raj Bali. Yeah, good use of space. And Mackin comes through. I like how Mackin's aggressive in that sweeping position. You don't often see someone come up on a ball like that. A lot of confidence. You don't often see a defensive back score either. That's true too. Yeah. Excellent game here tonight. Um, and here's Bucko with the throw in. Kingsley with the handle. Oh no, Auclair, excuse me. Um, space. 
Looked like Danak just kicked the other player there. Yeah, that was a lot of contact in the penalty area and no call. But it's probably the refs have swallowed break. the whistles. We're now in uh, refs at the, the, the uh, time on the field because we're in, inside of five minutes left. So they I'm pretty sure their breath. Frontier's going to win this game, I think. Pretty yeah. obvious. It seems so. Um, well, and here's back in. Hamilton and Mackin, I believe, takes their first rest of the game. Maybe not. And here is Gateway with the throw. Oh, that, that was a handball. No call. Maybe the rest figure doesn't matter at this point or something. I wonder. Anyways, here's Beth. Up the sideline. Kicked up in the air by Gateway. And, wow, nice ball by Nick Kevitz. Ooh, Reds Volley a little too far out in front of her, it seems like. Oh, yeah, no, out of bounds. And goal kick will be taken by number three, Hannah Coffey. Hey, let's get another one here, Red! Good kick there. And up ahead to Aaron Harris. And Harris starting to march down the field. Here's the shot. And Green collects. Green, very composed here Interesting. tonight. She's done a good job tonight. Fantastic job. For a, for a ninth grader, she's got a lot of poise in that net. She's been around for a long time. Four years. Yeah. Well, let's hope so. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's Rose Bali. Don't have it. Kevitz to Mayor PC. And Frontier's gonna let it go out of bounds. Bucko with the throw in. Good throw in. Very far. Here's O'Leary. Yeah, Kevitz with a nice chip there up ahead. Here's Danak. Here at PC. Speth's going to take it. Kicks to Raj Bali. Raj Bali downfield. Good ball. Good luck. And Lafford. Back to Kevitz. Is that a shot? I couldn't tell. Uh, and here's Grizzly. Stopped uh, by Gateway Defense. And Speth gets it to Petrin. I believe that we're in the, somewhere in the third, near the 38th minute right now. Um, as Bali picks it up. Nice ball. Mace Bowen trying to track it down. She will not get there. Throwing to be taken by number two, Lena Iglesias. Kingsley. And I think a day neck that looked like a handball. Not a lot of referee interference here in the last five. They, like I said, they pretty much swallowed the whistles at this point. <coughs> they need the nutrients. It's been a very physical game, especially in Oh, the yeah, oh, look at that. <laughs> it's a great slide tackle. Yeah. That's always fun when the field gets a little bit slick to slide around like that a little bit. Yeah. Into your throw. Mayor PC with the throw. Gets taking Kevitz, Dan Kevitz. Gateway gets it upfield. Featuring's gonna track it down and Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. That's your ball game. The Frontier Red Hawks defeat the Gateway Gators by a score of 2-0 on goals by Jessica Risley and Kate Mackin on senior night in South Carolina.
broadcast by Joe Thompson, producer Kevin Murphy, Alec Echo, and Megan Stuff. I'm Chris Collins saying so long for South Korea. This is Red Hawk, Joe Sucker, and the Frontier Community Action Network.